here we have been given an interesting puzzle and the puzzle is like this it says that an arab merchant has purchased 300 dozens that's uh, uh, 3600 bananas at the port and he wants to sell them at an oasis which is 1200 miles away inland in a desert now he has only one camel which can carry at the most 100 dozen which is 1200 bananas at a time and additionally it needs to be fed one banana every mile it walks. So can we help the merchant to plan his journey so that he has maximum number of bananas to sell when he reaches the oasis. So let's start uh, uh, placing the pieces of this puzzle. So here is the desert and at one end of it there is a port and the ship has come with a large consignment of bananas and the Arab merchant has purchased 3600 bananas from the ship. Now he wants to carry them, transport them, uh, if not all, some of them to this oasis, okay, inland in the desert. And the distance between the port and the oasis is given to be 1200 miles. Now, how can he do that? Okay, because he has only one camel, and this camel can carry at the most 1200 bananas at a time. Okay, as the camel walks, it is also going to consume one banana every mile. So at any given point in the desert, uh, if the camel is carrying some bananas, we can plot how many there are in this direction. Okay, we can also plot the maximum number of bananas it can carry at a time, which is 1200. So that is the limit. Now let us uh, uh, try a very simple approach of starting with 1200 bananas like this, going one mile, eating one banana. Again, going one mile, eating one banana, one mile, one banana, one mile, one banana, like that. So when we go in this direction, okay, 1200, 0, 0, 1200 miles, we will be depleting uh, the banana it is carrying by 1200. Okay, let us see what this results in. Well, this is the line that depicts our journey. This is the distance we are covering and this is how the bananas are depleting. So let us see where it takes us. If we zoom in, we find it exactly lands us at the oasis. But the unfortunate part is there are no bananas left to sell. And even worse, we have left 2400 bananas here. And there is no way we can go back now because the camel has no bananas to eat on the return journey. So let us plan uh, the return trip. And for that, let us consider the worst case scenario. Okay, so I'm going to take uh, this line that we just plotted and about its center, I'm going to flip it like this. Okay, and you can see this second line, the reflected line now passes through this port point. So it reaches the port. So what is the meaning of this line? The worst case scenario return. Okay, uh, because if we start the journey like this, uh, the camel is walking, bananas are getting consumed, we reach up to this point. And from this point, we take this line to return to the port. Okay, And we just barely make it. What is the significance of this point? Well, this is the point of no return. Okay? Beyond this, if we go, okay, uh, then there will not be sufficient bananas left to come back. And we will be marooned in the desert somewhere. We will be consuming, say, 600 bananas on uh, this journey and 600 bananas on the return journey. So nothing is left. But at least we made back to the port. We have we have access to those 2400 more bananas that are left there. Okay, So this is not as bad as our first plan. So let us make it uh, even better. We can start from this point, go along this line like this up to somewhere say here. And then we can keep the bananas that we are carrying, at least some of them okay, at uh, this point. Okay, so at this point in the desert, we'll be creating a sort of a base. Okay, and in that base, we'll be placing these many bananas. And then we have reached the return line and we will come back like this. So this is our first trip. Okay. Then we can use these bananas as our base. So we can plan a second trip. Okay, we can take the second consignment of bananas. Okay, here 1200 again. We'll have to go along this line, of course. But by the time we reach here, we have access to the bananas we left in the first trip. So now we can sort of take some of them, 
replenish our load again 1200 and and keep walking like this till we reach the oasis and this time you can see we have some bananas left that we can sell so creating a base is a good idea but 1200 bananas are left here instead of one base we can create two bases so in the second trip we can do something like this we can go up to this point take some bananas that we kept in the first trip replenish our supply then walk some more in the desert okay come up to some point again keep some bananas down there creating a second base like this okay then we can start our journey back come up to first base pick up uh, some of those bananas that we kept in the first trip so replenish and again return to the port for the third trip we can start from here go here pick up some more bananas okay that will be the last uh, uh, batch of bananas here uh, replenish ourselves come up to this point pick up these bananas that we left in the second trip replenish ourselves and go to the oasis and you can see now we have plenty of bananas left with us that can be sold at the oasis so this seems to be a good plan we'll just quantify this now uh, so this is our travel plan uh, we are going to make uh, three trips because the maximum uh, since we have 3600 bananas and the maximum capacity of the camel is 1200 so we'll make three trips from the port what we are going to do in trip number one well we'll start with a full load go some distance and place some bananas at base one and return so we'll start from here place some bananas that creates a base one and we will return in the next trip we start from uh, the port with full load come up to base one okay pick up some bananas so we'll replenish ourselves go further place some more bananas at base two creating this base here and then on the way back again we replenish ourselves at base one okay like this and then we return and finally we make the third and final trip we start from here okay, with a full load go to base one this base one replenish ourselves go to base two again replenish ourselves to a full load and then reach the oasis and of course sell the bananas and get rich so you can see at base one we are doing one two three replenishments so we are going to walk some distance say x and uh, we are going to walk some distance x back so that is 2x and we are going to replenish that three times so one two three four and five okay so five times x is this full load and that gives us this distance where to set our base camp okay the first base it is going to be 1200 divided by five so at uh, uh, the distance of 240 miles we'll set up our first base camp okay how about the second one well we are going to start like this we are going to replenish ourselves so it is 1200 then at the second base we are going to replenish ourselves only at once and therefore we have to cover this distance let us uh, call it as d then replenish it so d again and for the return trip d okay so this is going to be 1200 divided by 3 and therefore this distance from the first base to the second base is going to be 400 so that is the mark for our second base okay 400 miles from the base one okay and if at a distance of 640 we are all replenished and we are carrying a full load of 1200 how many bananas will be left 640 of course but we can measure it as well and indeed it turns out to be 640 so uh, the arab merchant can sell 640 bananas out of the 3600 he buys finally a quick recap of the solution we have 3600 bananas at the port we start three trips from the port in the direction of the oasis in the first trip we pick up this 1200 bananas and imagine them to be divided into five equal packets of 240 bananas uh, we consume the first packet for going to 40 miles then we dump three of them that is 720 bananas in base one 
and the last packet of 240 is used for coming back these uh, 240 miles. Then in the second trip, we pick up these 1200 bananas. We go 240 miles and pick up this packet to replenish ourselves. Then we go 400 miles more and dump 400 bananas. So we are left with 400, which we use for coming back these 400 miles. Then at this, we pick up this packet of 240 and use it to replenish ourselves so that we can return to the port. And finally, we launch uh, the third uh, trip. We go this 240 miles, pick up this 240 bananas to replenish ourselves. So we reach here. Then we go 400 miles, pick up this packet of 400 to replenish ourselves and we keep going towards the oasis and finally when we reach here we are left with 640 bananas to be sold.